Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome to Clara's Road. Woo 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 woo. Today, I'm going to be exploring Kano's Disney Frozen 2 coding kit. And I would like to thank Kano Computing for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the video. So, obviously, as you can see, I'm not in my room today. So I got this package in the mail that's been sitting around for days and my mom won't let me look in it, so let's figure out what it is. Oh, it's frozen! Wow, that's really cool, it's like a sensor. So I really like that it's frozen because the first Frozen, whenever my family went to see it, we really liked it because it was about sisters saving each other instead of like a man saving the girl. So we thought that was really cool. Plus I thought I was Elsa for a while because I have blonde hair and my little eye go. I thought that was like my Elsa powers. Oh, and I screamed at everybody if they tried to sing Let It Go because that was my song. I'm very excited to see Frozen 2 because like I saw the trailer and like with the autumn leaves and stuff, I thought that was like cool and I can't wait to see what it is. I think it's gonna be like the elements, you know? Or the seasons, either the elements or the seasons. Like wind or like autumn. In the first Frozen, I really liked Olaf. I think they can all relate because we all like warm hugs. But he's definitely gonna be in the second one because I saw the trailer and he's in it a lot. And plus he's right there. All right. Let's open it. I have coded before, multiple times in school. I like that front, let's go in. Okay, so first we have instructions and little stickers. Those little Elsa and Anna figures are cute. And then we have the instruction manual. The snowflake and the autumn leaves. I think it's the sensor, because it says motion sensor. Wow, it is the motion sensor. So there's like the plate for it to go on and then the circuit board, which in steam is actually what the like crew numbers are made out of. Like the bases are made out of circuit boards, which I think is cool. And then the top and then the batteries. That's convenient that it comes with batteries and a little tiny piece. All right, prepare for adventure. Step into the unknown. All right, so I'm gonna build it first. Pick up this piece. It's called a printed circuit board or PCB. I have used the circuit board before, but we've never called it a PCB. Okay, turn over the PCB and slot in both batteries. Wow, look at that, that's cool. Then take a closer look at the PCB. LEDs and then sensors. These are the sensors. Wow, that's cool. Each sensor has two lenses, so that little tiny thing has two lenses. The top lens sends out an infrared beam. Infrared is a type of light invisible to humans. I wonder if it's invisible to dogs too. When your hand breaks the beam, it gets reflected back to the bottom lens, so the sensor can see where your hand is, so that's why it can like go like this, like that. But I think it's supposed to be like, you have ice powers. All four sensors work together to tell if your hand is going up, down, forward, backwards, left, right, or tilting. All right, time to add some control. Push the power button onto the PCB. All right, right here, I think. Make sure it's snug. Now place the PCB into the bottom case. Line up the button with the groove in the base. There we go. Gently push the PCB into place. To that, take the light plate and place on top of the PCB. Ooh, that looks pretty. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. All right. Take the top case, push it onto the bottom case until it clicks. So, I got it. To turn it on, press the power button. Already did that. Now reach out, put your hand over the sensors. What do you see? If you are higher up, it's like lighter lights, but if you're further down, it's brighter lights. It goes where your hand is going. So like if it's only over here, then it only lights up over there. And then here. Well done, your kit is built. All right, my kit is built. Now simply download the app onto your device to start playing with the Disney Frozen coding kit. Cano.me slash app slash frozen. Destiny Lights. Discover new skills as you create endless frozen adventures. 
I feel like it's like simple for beginners, but cool for advanced people too. You can like create your own characters and make them do things or like discover new locations. And judging from this little picture here, the more characters you create, the more costumes you unlock. To begin your journey, place your hand over the sensors. Yeah. All right, next. Are you ready to step into the unknown? The answers are waiting. Begin. Create snowflakes. Let's prepare for adventure. Let's start. Whoa. Repeat your present. Drag the particles, snowflake. Can you make different size snowflakes? Drag the particle snowflake. With this kit, I can awaken the elements with a wave of my hand and go on a journey, all while learning to code. I am connecting code blocks and learning about loops, logic, and variables. With a wave of my hand, I can make snowflakes, blizzards, or even ice palaces appear. Canada's Disney Frozen 2 coding kit is really cool because you get to learn while experiencing your favorite story. I love Frozen, so I hope everybody else does too. And coding kit is really cool, so I'm gonna go, because I wanna play with it. Check out the link in the description and ask for your own kit for the holidays at canna.me. Thank you for watching. Oh, you're still here, sorry, playing. Bye.